What's going on everyone? Grunge Job Gaming back here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to efficiently get more XP as well as efficiently farm XP inside Apex Legends Season 12. With the latest release of Season 12, we also have an LTM that just released as well, which is Control. With Control being an LTM, it has been presumed that it's going to be released into the game eventually after some modifications so basically it'll stick around as a permanent mode after its ltm time with that being said this future permanent game mode does have some more ways to get xp in apex legends with that being said let's get right into the video first going over what gives you the most xp in apex legends and that would be time survived you get three xp for each second you survive 3 XP per second survived actually applies to all 3 game modes. Time survived is definitely the biggest way to go. A lot of people when they are grinding usually use ranked because ranked you can get a couple kills if you are in lower ranked lobbies. As well as the matches tend to be longer meaning you'll be able to rack up more XP while doing so. The chart up on screen right now is all the XP that correlates with the battle royale mode. So basically how much XP will you get for completing certain tasks in the battle royale mode. The only thing that changes about this chart is once you play a game of arenas or the new control mode, what ends up happening is kills don't count for 50 XP, they count for 15 XP instead. Of course, doing a quick rundown of the chart, for every match you win, you will get 900 XP. If you finish in the top five squads, you will get 300 XP. Again, you will get three XP for every second you survive. You will get 0.25 XP per one damage point. So if you do a 100 damage to someone you're only going to get 25 xp every time you revive an ally you will get 25 xp per revive every time you respawn an ally so taking their banner bringing it to the beacon you will get 200 xp per respawn every time you get on apex every day and you get your first kill you will get 500 xp just for doing that you can get 500 xp per every person on the champion squad that you eliminate. Let's say you eliminated all three of the members of the champion squad, you will get 1500 XP. You will get 50 XP at the end of the match if you had been the kill leader any point during the match. If you end up on the champion squad, you will get 500 XP just for being the champion or on the champion squad. If you play with friends, you will get 5% XP bonus. If you are playing with two friends, you will get a 10% XP bonus. All of the things I mentioned on that chart apply to arenas and control. The only exception is how much XP you get per kill. Now this does make sense because the players are given to you instead of you having to go hunt them down in battle royale. The nice thing about looking at the chart, you can individually see what you want to be able to grind and how much it's worth. Because different people have different skill sets, let's say you're not much of a battle royale person, well then you can go switch to arenas or control and get the time survived XP. Honestly at the end of the day, the best way to get XP is most likely playing a game mode like control where you can just get a ton of time survived. Battle Royale is still going to be the best only because there's so many other things that you can do in Battle Royale to get XP and a lot of it if you are a decent player. There are always going to be exploits to get XP faster whether that is going under the map and waiting it out so you can get more XP that way through time survived or there is a glitch so you have higher chances of being in the champion squad each time. I'll leave links to those down in the description below but these are the the basics if you just want to grind out XP normally. It's pretty easy. Definitely the new control mode is definitely something to look at. It's definitely fun and usually a pretty long game mode. Plus there are plenty of players to eliminate. So three kills in control or arenas is equal to one battle royale kill, which isn't too bad since the players are provided for you as well as there are many players unlike arenas. With that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great day. A big thank you to my subscribers and channel members and I'll see you guys all around later. Bye guys.